Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Hecarim, the Shadow of War. Hecarim is a melee fighter who specializes in high mobility and jungling. Whether striking multiple nearby enemies on the move or leading the charge into team fights, Hecarim exemplifies mobile, high impact fighting. Hecarim's passive is Warpath. Hecarim ignores unit collision and gains a percentage of his bonus movement speed as bonus damage. Rampage immediately damages all nearby enemies. If it hits, the next activation of Rampage enjoys a lower cooldown down to a cap. If Rampage hasn't hit anything for a few seconds, the cooldown returns to normal. As Hecarim's primary damage source, take Rampage at level 1 and max it by level 9. Spirit of Dread creates an aura around Hecarim for a few seconds that constantly damages all nearby enemies. Additionally, Hecarim heals for a portion of any damage dealt to these enemies. Healing against minions is capped. Because it brings both great damage and health sustain, take a point in Spirit of Dread early and max it by level 13. Devastating Charge grants Hecarim steadily increasing movement speed for a few seconds. If Hecarim attacks an enemy during this time, he deals bonus damage and knocks back his target. Devastating Charge deals even more damage based on how far Hecarim has traveled during the effect. Because it's mostly a utility spell, take a rank of Devastating Charge early, but max it only by level 18. Hecarim's ultimate is Onslaught of Shadows. Hecarim charges to target location, damaging and causing all nearby enemies to flee from Hecarim for a short time. Additionally, Hecarim summons Spectral Riders that charge alongside him, damaging all enemies they strike. Due to the power of the ultimate, rank it as soon as possible at levels 6, 11, and 16. Try to build a mix of damage, toughness, and mobility through your runes, masteries, and items. For example, I take armor penetration marks, flat armor seals, magic resist per level glyphs, and movement speed quintessences. I recommend 9-12-9 masteries, taking armor penetration in offense, health and damage reduction in defense, and movement speed plus neutral buff duration in utility. When not jungling or in dominion, drop the minion specific masteries for extra armor and magic resist. In classic, I open with boots of speed and 3 health potions. I rush for Riggle's Lantern and Aegis of the Legion, before taking defensive boots depending on the enemy team. Trinity Force is the next major buy. After, I grab a mix of damage and durability through Maw of Malmordius and Frozen Heart. In Dominion, my build is similar. I start with Boots of Speed, Prospector's Blade, and two health potions. Aegis of the Legion, Upgraded Boots, and Trinity Force come next. From here, I adapt my build depending on my enemies, choosing among Randuin's Omen, Maw of Malmordius, Sanguine Blade, and Last Whisper. Try to always gank enemies from behind. I activate Devastating Charge, close the distance on Galio, and make sure to push him away from his turret. I keep pace with him while I hit Rampage and Spirit of Dread to deal as much damage as possible, before retreating from the turret and giving Nasus first blood. Let's look back at this fight, because there's something else to point out. Hecarim wants to keep up with enemy champions as long as possible to maximize his damage. Notice how I tell Hecarim to move forward immediately after every basic attack ensuring that I stay next to Galio as long as possible for more Rampage hits. Make sure to use the most of Hecarim's mechanics. Before I shove Ezreal toward the wall, I first use Rampage, because Devastating Charge's movement speed feeds into Warpath, giving me bonus damage. I chase with Ghost as he runs, using Rampage and Spirit of Dread to kill him without breaking stride. I turn on Kale and hit Onslaught of Shadows to lock her up under the turret and grab another kill. Finally, with Spirit of Dread still active, I rampage and smite nearby minions to gain health back as I escape. When jungling, try to keep your cooldown reduction on Rampage alive between camps. To do this, make sure that Rampage is the killing blow on the last monster of the camp, then immediately run to the next one. As soon as you're in range, hit Rampage again to keep the cooldown low and enjoy your extra fast jungle speed. In this case, it let me clear the camps just fast enough to grab the Lizard Elder with Smite and run away with Devastating Charge. Remember that Onslaught of Shadows will constantly force the enemy champions to run away from you. Here I initiate on Ramus and move such that he'll run into my team. I push him with Devastating Charge and stay in front of him, cutting down his health with Rampage. Rampage. 
After we pick up the kill, I walk out of turret range and then back across to escape Morgana. By hitting Onslaught of Shadows immediately after activating Devastating Charge, you can give it a lot of bonus damage and set yourself up for an easy knockback. I lock up Galio and we get him extremely low before his team comes to help. After killing Galio, I move quickly to take out champions with the least armor, taking out Morgana and then Kale soon after. I spot Ramus just above. Devastating Charge grants me a lot of movement speed as I walk just past Ramus before he taunts me, pushing him back toward my team. Thanks to all the armor accrued from items, I'm able to tank the turret long enough for my team to show up and grab the ace. The speed shrines on Dominion are even more useful on Hecarim thanks to Warpath, which converts that bonus movement speed into bonus damage. This helps me catch up to Needly for one kill before moving down to meet Fizz with Onslaught of Shadows and a second. Combining Speed Shrines with Hecarim's ability to deal damage while moving means you should always try to juke skill shots. After taking down Needly and Fiora, I'm put into a duel against Fizz. I start winning, but then he fires off his ultimate. I dodge away and then chase him down with Devastating Charge. I take him out with Rampage and win control over the middle. Thanks for tuning in to the Hecarim Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.